Hey guys, so this tutorial will be uh, working with text and we'll go over some skills that will be covered on your MOS exam. So if you're preparing for that, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to highlight when a skill is very important um, and you'll need to know it for the MOS exam. But the first thing uh, we should go over is applying formatting and styles to text. So there's two ways you can do that. One would be going to the Home tab and I'll show you uh, all these options up here and how we can use them. So obviously this is the font style. So I'm going to highlight this box here and then just kind of show you what happens when you if you highlight your mouse and just go down the font style so you can kind of see which ones you'd like to use. But I'm going to stick with uh, this one, Calibri. And a nice option here is you can either highlight the whole word or I can highlight individual letters. So maybe that's what I'll do here. And if you ever want to, so you can bold, italicize, underline. A nice effect that I like using is a text shadow, so it kind of makes the word or letter that you're choosing stand out a bit. Uh, you can do a strike through if you want to cross out a word, or you could make the letters for like spread them out a little bit using character spacing. You can change the case if you want to change the uppercase, lowercase. Uh, you could highlight it with the background using this text fill, text, sorry, text highlight color. And then also this is where the font color would go. So let's choose, I don't know, maybe an orange here. Or orange accent too. And you can also increase the size like this, like if you wanted to just kind of get a quick glimpse of how big that would be. But actually I'll go back. And then what I want to do, what I notice I want to do is actually take the bullet points off. So you can do that here as well. So that you notice how there's bullet points. I just say none. And then have these um, these words here without a bullet point. So you can let's go back to increasing the size or decreasing the size here. And you make it really big, make the capital letters stand out. And now I want to do the same thing to the other letters, the first letters of the word. So instead of redoing that all again, I can actually just use something called uh, the Format Painter, which is in your clipboard group under the Home tab, and it's right here. And I'm just going to double click it. So if you click once, it'll copy the formatting to the next item and then stop. But if I click it twice really quickly, it'll actually just keep formatting. So we have three things. So I just want to keep it going um, past the two, two objects. So I have three objects. So I'm going to click twice really quick and then highlight um, the letters in the first words here. Okay. And then if I want to, I just press escape to get out of um, uh, format painter. Okay, so if I want to, now if I want more spacing too, let's say we could space those words out a little bit more, I could go to the paragraph dialog box and then just increase right here where it says spacing. So you might be asked to on the MOS exam to increase the spacing or decrease the spacing to zero uh, if you want to close up the gap between words. So let's see how that looks. So a little bit, a little bit spaced out now. And that's how you would increase the paragraph spacing. And there's another way to uh, in, uh, sorry, change the formatting of your text as well. Um, you can also uh, change the background. So within this text box, you can add color, something like that. So that would be in the shape field. This kind of overlaps with this tab called the Drawing Tools uh, Format tab. A few of these options are in there as well. And then the Shape Outline. And then you can do Shape Effects as well. But then you have more options when you go to the Drawing Tools. Uh, you could do all these kind of shape styles that come with it. You can edit this shape, make it, make it change the shape of the text box. Uh, you could do, again, we went over shape fill, uh, outline, and effects. You could also do text effects. And this is definitely something um, that you'll have to do on the test as well, is convert uh, title to word art. So you could also, if you want it to kind of match that orange, we could choose this one here. So that's a, that's a long name, but we got some options here too. So we'll just choose that one. So you can change just normal font to word art and you can align it however you like to in here and then change the position here. You can also, if you want to change the position, you can format uh, as well. And then go to, so click on this that looks like it's size and properties and change the position on right here. Okay, so now we're going to change, uh, we're going to format bullet lists. 
So if you had a bullet list like this, you could, I'm going to just highlight the whole box because we're going to uh, make changes to all of the bullets in this bo text box. So if you wanted a numbered list, if you want to convert it, so we have like a bullet list here. So we have this default right here. Uh, if you wanted to change it to numbers, we could right here, depending on what style you want. So if we chose that one. Or I know uh, on the MOS exam, they sometimes have you change normal bullet points into something like star bullet points. So that's how you do it. And sometimes they also make you change a first level bullet. So these are all first level bullets. They line together into second level bullets. So the instruction would say something like, uh, take the Excel word PowerPoint paragraphs and turn them into second level bullets and the rest of the paragraph should be first level bullets. So uh, you can either press tab or increase the list level. So I'm just going to tab over and that now these are second level bullet lists. So another common question on the MOS exam or your geometrics test would be to change the um, columns to two or three. So we see that we only have one column here, but I'll highlight this text box here. And then there's a button here in the paragraph group under the home tab that would allow you to add more columns. So you can do two, three. If you want to do more columns, you could, but I doubt they would ask you to do that. So it's usually two or three. So if I change this to three columns, what that does is when I, um, you know, I'm going to press enter down here, it'll actually make this three columns. If I had a lot of bullet points, so see how it's kind of divided into three columns now. And that's how you go from one column to three. I'm just going to quickly show some advanced formatting in PowerPoint uh, when it comes to our text boxes. So I'm going to move, let's say if I want to change the orientation or the direction of the text, I can, I can rotate it manually like this if I want to rotate the text box, or I can just go, let's put that back to where it was, and then oh, on the home tab, uh, text direction, and I can rotate it like this, and then I'll move it. Okay, and again, you can add uh, shape. You can change the shape outline. You can change the weight of the outline, make it a little thicker. You can change the shape fill. Uh, you can center the text within the text box. And you can also, speaking about shape fill, there's also more options here. You can do like a picture background fill, a gradient one. So if you want to kind of show that there's light on it, have light play with around with the light effects here. That's in your shape fill gradient options. And then there's also more shapeful options. You can go with like a texture, something like that. And one last thing we'll do, and it's really important to do for your presentation, always review the spelling. So um, go to the review tab, click spelling, and then it shows me that I have a spelled program wrong. So I will just click the correct version and then change. And hey, if that was helpful, I've got more videos on my play PowerPoint playlist, and I've also got um, some recent videos about how to pass the geometrics test for PowerPoint. So thanks for watching, and also if you're not a subscriber, I would love if you would uh, subscribe to my channel if any of these videos are helpful to you.